Pilates Show Mondays, where we take our Pilates body and brain out into the real world. I'm your host, Elizabeth Goyer, and today we're going to be talking about using the foam roller for core work. So I think a lot of us think that doing release work and working on activating our core have to be two separate classes or that we need to do them at two separate times. Um, but I found that I can actually combine those two ideas when I use the foam roller. So I'm going to show three exercises that teach that. Um, the first one is going to be releasing the back, but using some hamstring work and also some core stability. So I'm going to support my head with my elbows reaching towards the ceiling. And then I'm just going to roll and I'm going to keep the knees reaching over the toes and then come back, keeping the knees and the hips tracking. So a lot of people get really lazy here and they just kind of wiggle around. But if you imagine that you're doing a little bridging exercise, just flick from your mat, you are going to get that same benefit of the low belly activation in the hamstrings as you go up and down here. So that's the first one. Um, the next one is plank with quad release. So I can walk out to my plank position, find my mid back connection, find my low belly reaching up towards the spine, and then I can walk the elbows forward and then push back. And I'm keeping the top of my head reaching away from my tailbone as I roll out. So again, I'm getting a little bit of a plank workout here, even though I'm releasing my quads. Um, last one is releasing the IT band with a side plank. So then again, a lot of people get really lazy here. They're all over the place, okay? You can combine here and find your nice side plank and try to keep the top of the head reaching long away from the toes as you roll out your IT band. And then you'll find this is a much better workout and you're warming up. So that's also helping to release the connective tissue. So again, that's the side plank. And if you want more of a challenge, you can lift one leg, you can flap the toes, lots of variations there. Thank you for joining us. We would love to hear from you. So please feel free to comment below on our forum, on our Facebook or on Twitter.